happy Sunday. I've actually been up for a while and good news, I have coffee in my system so I'm ready to chit chat. Um, yeah, I got up and I edited a video so it's uploading now. Um, this morning I put on the Color Science Face Shield Flex, the medium shade that I've been wearing, but then later on mid-morning I experimented with some of the other shades since they sent me all four of them. I experimented with the deeper shades just to kind of like play around with them. And the deep shade is definitely too deep for me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but ultimately they do end up kind of blurring into the skin. Anyways, I'm just gonna touch up here because the last time I applied was probably about an hour ago and I'm gonna go out in a, in a moment. I'm gonna just touch up a little bit with the with the sheer matte powder. Um, I've really been happy with this, but a pro tip, people always comment about these color science powders being difficult to get the product out. The way to do it is when you first buy it, you open it up and it has this little collar on it. You pop it down and when you first get it, there is like a little rubber band around the the brush, you take the rubber band off, you put the collar back on, and then you put the lid on and you turn it upside down and you tap it on the counter a few times and that will put out product into the brush. So if you've had a hard time with this, that is how to do it. They should put those instructions like right on the box. Instead, they put them in this like little tiny little handout that's folded up inside the box, which you may not even notice is in there if you don't look. Um, so yeah, that's how, how these work. But this is their sheer one. And they also have a tinted one, but yeah, I'm just gonna mattify. Today I'm gonna go to Target, film a video for you guys. And I don't know what else is going on today. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, update on the mascara. But I've been really happy with this Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Highly recommend it. It's like super inexpensive on the Amazonian. I'll link it down below. I'm wearing it currently. I've been really happy with it. So yeah, that's what's going on. Well, hey guys, I am over here in the Meyerland Shopping Center. I just filmed a Target Shop With Me video and I am going over a speed bump. <laughs> I am tempted to go into the Bath and Body Works over here because I was talking about Bath and Body Works in the Target video and that reminded me that they have one here. And I have not been in a Bath and Body Works in a long time and I'm wondering what's new with the candle situation. So I'm gonna buzz in there. I don't know if I will be able to film in there. The employees typically are very helpful. Um, and sometimes the music is very should I go in Ross? No, this Ross is always like uh, Marshalls. I'm not going in Marshalls. Why? Because if I go in there, I'm spending way too much time in there. And actually, I'm kind of tempted. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go to Marshalls. Why not? You want to know why I'm going in there? I blame Kimberly Whisk she calls herself of the wads because she's always talking up this honey and neroli candle all right i'm looking i don't see it but i do i have to say dw home candles they do not disappoint so i believe her that it is delicious what is the smell of freedom like i wonder if it's apple pie yep kind of apple-y i like that now here's wild honey and nectar, but that's not DW Home. Hmm. Is it just me or have they reduced their candle selection? I used to have a lot more. Like I used to be able to spend hours in here just sniffing and sniffing. And it seems like they have reduced their selection quite a bit. Now we have a crier. We have a crier in the background. I wonder if there is a uh, spilt milk. <laughs> It's a joke. You know, don't cry over spilled milk. What does barber shop smell like? Like, hmm, barber shop is nice. I like that. 
it's not, it's masculine, but it's not like cheap cologne masculine, you know what I mean? Sometimes the masculine scents can be a little bit too heavy on the sandalwood tobacco vibe. Rainbow Sherbert would be good for summer. Okay, Rainbow Sherbert smells exactly like Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. What does Amazon Palm smell like? The scent of money flying out the window with two day delivery. Mm. No such luck with the honey and neroli. Oh well. Perusing the artwork here. Great state of Georgia. It's kind of nice. Well, no look on the honey and neroli candle. And, uh, uh, no luck on the honey and neroli candle at uh, Home Goods, and then I didn't feel like going into Bath and Body Works because um, but I am actually gonna buzz into Whole Foods. I haven't been in a Whole Foods in a while, so there are some things that I am wanting to try, and I want to see if they have them. I'm listening to my Audible book. Comment below: Is it cheating if you listen to the audio book on like? double speed <laughs> like speed listen read this particular the readers on this particular book it's called we are called to rise is the title of the book by laura mcbride it's pretty good but i don't enjoy some of the readers so they have a few i don't enjoy some of their voices they're a little too slow and drawn out so i have to listen to it sped up i appreciate it but I started that book last night that I bought at Costco yesterday. I've already forgotten the name of it. I'm really bad at remembering book titles. Um, for example, if I didn't have Audible on right now with a screen up telling me the title, I, could, I probably couldn't remember it. Anyways, I started that book last night and it seems like it's gonna be really good. Um, something about children in the title, but yeah. I love reading. I think the library is actually back up and running. So I should try and go to the library. It's been a long time since I've been in a long time. I'm over here in Whole Foods by the DIY skincare area of disaster. I do not recommend DIY skincare. These essential oils have caused so many problems. I, these are the carrier oils or whatever, but um, yeah, people DIYing tea tree oil stuff. Really, there was really an uptick of that during the pandemic because of all the TikTok stuff and lots of bad irritant contact dermatitis. Now, vegetable glycerin, glycerin is really moisturizing. It's a wonderful humectant. It's actually good for the hair. Unfortunately, just putting plain glycerin on your skin or your hair, uh, for your skin, it can be actually kind of irritating. Um, just straight glycerin but otherwise it's a good ingredient i have a video all about glycerin i just thought of that seeing it in here uh, people always ask about bathing with these sea sponges but they can harbor bacteria i recommend just using a washcloth because you can wash it this brand kitsch sent me their satin pillowcase it's it's pretty nice it helps cut down on hair breakage and frizz I also have that silk pillowcase from, I have two actually from Lily Silk. I really like those, They're nice and cool on the skin. But I see they have reusable face rounds. I may actually get these for my Aven compact, Tinted Compact, $14.99. That's not too bad. That's a nice wide tooth comb. These are pretty. All right, so I swung into Whole Foods specifically for the Kite Hill Greek style almond milk yogurt. I heard good things about this. You guys know I've been loving the Coco Yo coconut milk yogurt. So I wanted to try this. And in one of these little containers, it has 11 grams of protein. And so I thought that sounded like it would be good for having with berries and whatnot. And then I saw that they also have a coconut uh, dairy-free yogurt. And it is on sale at Whole Foods, plus there's a rebate on Ibotta, plus if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get change back. So I got quite a good deal on this. I also snagged some cucumbers. Maybe I'll do a vegan sadiki, however you say it. You know that cucumber salad is so good. 
So I have been keeping my eyes peeled for different brands of UPF clothing. I am a huge fan of Coolie Bar and I've really been loving that bay leaf jacket that I got on Amazon a while ago. Uh, but you guys have been asking for some more brand recommendations. So I saw this brand on Amazon called Castet. I think is how you pronounce it. And so I ordered a shirt and I was impressed it came really quickly via FedEx, which typically Amazon packages don't. But let me show you how nice is this. It came with tissue paper and a pretty seal. And there's even a, there's even a little note. Yeah, Castel Denmark. Um, you guys can try using that code, KD1520 at checkout. Uh, sport the crown. Anyways, they have all these like colorful UPF shirts. I think they're maybe for like golf or tennis, but I decided to get one and I got this pattern. I thought it was really pretty. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys just to see what it looks like. It's a zip up and the reviews on Amazon said that the fabric was really good for Florida, which translates to probably good for Houston, so we'll see. Ooh, I really like this. It's actually UPF 30, but I don't know if you guys can appreciate this. It's got mesh on the side, so that's, well, including under the armpit, so that really is good for hot weather. And on the back, let's see if you can see, it has like their logo, just kind of neat looking. I really like these. This is, I think I got an extra small. Yeah, really happy with this purchase. Kessel, Denmark, highly recommend. These are really cute, like for tennis or something. These shorts, by the way, are, you can get these at Marshalls. They are like, I think it's called Yoga 360. I'll link them down below too. They're really comfortable as a side note, but um, yeah, I may have to snag a few more of these because they're really, you know, I'm trying to get into wearing colors. And so I'm happy with this. All right, update. I just cracked into the Kite Hill, Kite Hill Greek style plain unsweetened and it is good. Nice and thick. It is tart like yogurt. It kind of has a little bit of a almondy taste, but not too strong. I like it. Well, hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower, finished my skincare routine, and I'm putting some Vaseline on my lips for reduction of chapped lips. Anyways, I keep getting questions. Should we or could we alternate uh, different gel with oh, different gel one night with like the CeraVe resurfacing retinol the next. There's no reason to do that. It doesn't help you. All it does is increase the risk of irritation. If you wanna use Differin one night and then not use it the next night, just you know take a break. But choose one form of topical vitamin A and stick with it. Uh, there's no benefit in using like Tretinoin once a week and a different form of topical vitamin A the rest. It just causes irritation. All right, second thing with, People being more motivated to remove body hair uh, now that we're getting into the summer months. Shaving, essential. After you shave, um, whether it be your legs, bikini area, or armpits, after you shave and you rinse the skin, make sure, make sure absolutely that you put moisturizer on right away. The act of shaving is mechanical exfoliation because it's basically removing some of the top dead layer of the skin. That is why you can get razor burn like on the face. Um, and it also leads to more water loss out of the skin that ultimately can drive a lot of irritation. That's why you end up getting little ingrown hairs more easily and a lot of inflammation, little breakouts. Definitely use a moisturizer. Same moisturizer that you use on your face. You know, you obviously can use it on your face if you're shaving your face, but you can also use it under your armpits. It will not clog pores or anything like that. Just give it a try. It's an essential step that I feel like when People are learning to shave. I mean, men are taught to put on aftershave, which is basically just perfume and alcohol um, and like a little menthol to, to uh, have a cooling effect. But yeah, moisturize. Just put on moisturizer as soon as you rinse the skin. It's key for reducing that water loss and just helping keep the skin happier. 
So yeah, I am getting the batteries about to die light. So anyways, guys, thank you for following along on the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like vlogs, I always do vlogs on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Just kind of me going along. And I do weave in skincare into that as well. So it's not just me like, you know, being me. <laughs> Um, but anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.